Hey, hello there, and welcome back to my computer. And today I'm going to play around with the key ring. I'm going to use surfaces to create a 3D sketch and well, 3D line to run this pipe around. And why am I doing that? Yes, because I want this very nice, smooth surface. So, the key ring I'm doing here is just an example for you who are interested in to use this technique to create very nice, soft surfaces. There are most probably other ways to do it, so leave a comment if you have a better way to do this. This is the way I have found to be the easiest for me and produce the result I want. This is a very smooth surface. This is a shiny material, so if there was any artifacts or strange knocks, you would see it. So let's head over to Fusion. We're gonna start a sketch. Uh, yeah, the dimensions is uh, whatever you want. My plan is that this uh, keyring, which is a circle, is gonna be, let's do it. 26.5 millimeters and I'm gonna use a two millimeter wire and I want this circle to be the center line so let's reduce it with two because we're gonna get yeah, one radius on each size of a total diameter so two so reduce it with two let's zoom in uh, we're gonna create some offsets which are gonna use to create one of our surfaces we're gonna make uh, I'm gonna make a two millimeter wire wire so let's do it uh, you can do it two on each side that should be enough uh, and offset again from the same circle and now inward so minus two like that uh, move this a bit to the side come on move out of the way you can move out of the way and we're gonna create the, the opening for the notch so we're gonna do one line straight down and the second line somewhere out here to the outer circle and we're gonna dimension this too with the angle for the opening uh oh we have two lines. Let's do that again. Sometimes fusion hits up you with two lines. I do not know if I'm too fast or if there's something else stupid. Now we have one line. Like that. I'm going to use that 38 degrees. That's what I like. Look out. Turn off our sketches to check. They are fully defined. I prefer to work with fully defined or constrained sketches so nothing is changing by itself. So that's our first sketch. Or basically the only sketch we need we're gonna finish go back to home so we can see all of it uh, and we're gonna start doing some surfaces we're gonna the surface tab we start with patches and we're gonna make this whole patch here okay and now we're gonna create a copy of this we're gonna use rectangular pattern of this patch bodies yes uh, the direction is gonna be straight up we're gonna need two, the one we have, and one more, and we're gonna change it to spacing. And the space is gonna be, of course, uh, first of all, the diameter wire. And if you do it exactly the same size as the wire, they're gonna to touch each other, and we're gonna yeah, basically weld together. So we're gonna add 0 0.05 millimeters if clearance between them, like that. And hit that mode so we can see the edges. And the last surface we're going to do, we are going to do an extrude of the center line we did. And we can do a distance to objects we don't need to think and choose the top surface here. Like that. And now we can turn off our sketches so we don't see them anymore. And to make things a little easier, let's turn off that last body so we don't see it. Now we're going to do the little twirly part between here. First of all, I want to extend out this. I'm going to make it from this edge down here up to the top edge to the top left, bottom right. So we're going to use extend because I want them to protrude. Yeah, 0 0.5 millimeters, that's good. And the same now, that's the bottom right, let's take the top left. The same. As you can see, when we have a look from straight front, yeah, come on. Oops, it entered too, too much. That protrudes a bit, and the other way around there. And let's get in a nice view. Now we're going to create a loft. Create loft from this edge to this edge. And that's not a pretty shape. So let's change. Uh, the important thing here is turn off the sketches because you will normally choose sketch lines. And we don't want that because we want the edge of a surface. So we can use tangent constraints between these surfaces like that. Tangent, tangent. I don't change any of the weight. You can play around with numbers when you do some odd shapes. And let's have a look at this. And now, why, as you can see, the problem with the loft here is there's a straight edge here. So if we do this with the pipe now, it looked really bad. So now we turn off our center line body. And we use the trim tool. 
we need to use the cylinder we did and we're going to cut off the outside of this here let's see you can't use all of them like that are you part of it yes please and let's see that's a cylinder body let's turn off the rest of them yeah no nope. that's a cylinder we're going to remove that and we'll take the rest of these and just to be safe i uh, no no surface let's stitch, stitch these three together so they are one solid like that yeah that's looking this is one extra step i like to do you don't need this you can skip this you can use the outer edge but that's something i like to do a new sketch any plane basically and under create we have project include include 3d geometry i'm going to choose the outer edge here it's three parts of it we can turn off the body to have a check yes we have a complete i'm going to finish sketch and now also remove that body I like to clean up things so I don't have too much. So now we have no bodies anymore. We just have a little nice spiral here and go back to solid. We are going to create a pipe. Chain selection chosen. And the good thing, as I'm using chain selection, now I can use choose the whole sketch at one time. If you do it around the surface, you have to choose uh, each uh, face edge at a time. Uh, two millimeters. Yes, new body. Thank you. Turn off that sketch, and the last thing I did was a small chamfer on the edge here and the edge here by 0.2 millimeters. And of course, now you can add uh, things like materials and that. But a good thing is here under inspect, you have separate analysis, and this produces a line. So you can have a look. You can see there's some. We're going to choose to another mode like that, so we can have a look. You can see, yeah, 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 there are some artifacts around the edges, but it's basically smooth as it can get. And if we take a look from the top, it's a nice circle. So this is how I use surfaces to create a 3D sketch, and then I run some pipe around it. And you can do a lot of things. So I hope this is useful to you, and you can use it for something. Take care.